Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Atus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to move Epic Games to another drive. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for us to actually move our Epic Games or games in Epic Games to a different drive, what we need to do first is we need to prepare the second location. So in this case, I actually have a drive here that I could actually use. So in this case, I have the local disk here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now from here in your other drive, let's go ahead and right click on it. And you want to click on new. Now from here under new, you want to create a new folder. Now in this case, go ahead and name this as Epic Games. Now in this case, go ahead and click on it. Now from here, once you've uh, created the folder, let's go ahead and close this one. And from here, let's go ahead and go to Epic Games itself. Now you want to go to library here and you want to look for the game that you want to actually transfer. In this case, go ahead and click on the three dotted icon that you see under that game. And from here, you want to click on manage. Now under manage, you want to actually uh, go to installation here, click on the folder icon. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now in this case, you should be able to see the actual game. Go back one folder by clicking on Epic Games at the URL. And from here, you want to look for the full guys or the name of the game that you want to transfer, right? Click on that folder and you want to actually copy it. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the local disk where you've created the Epic Games folder. Go ahead, open up the Epic Games folder here and you want to paste your game. Now from here, what we need to do next is we just need to wait for it to transfer. But what's actually completely transferred, we've got, we are going to do a few things here. Now, once you've transferred the files or the game that you want to transfer in the Epic Games folder we just created, what we need to do next is we need to go back into uh, Epic Games here and you want to uninstall the game. Go ahead and click on the tree dotted icon here, click on uninstall and click on uninstall again. Now, this will actually uninstall it. So what we need to do next is we need to install it again. So in this case, go ahead and click on the install button here. And from here, we now need to choose a different location. Let's go ahead and click on browse here. And from here, you want to go to your DSPC section, look for local disk, look for Epic Games here, and you want to make sure that you've only clicked on the Epic Games. Do not click the file or the folder, folder that is for that game. So make sure that the Epic Games folder is the last thing you click. If you are not sure, you could go ahead and go back into local disk here, click on Epic Games again, just to make sure that Epic Games is the only one selected, and click on select folder. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on install. Now, once the installation uh, is has started, what we need to do next is we need to open up the downloads folder here. You want to post it, and in here we want to go back to the Epic Games that we just recently created. Now, from here, open up the game that has the number one on it. So, it's the folder or the game or the game copy that we just uh, put in here. Go ahead and double click on it. And you want to copy all the files from starting from EC Anti Cheat into Unity Player DLL. Ignore the .eg store folder here. Right click on it, and you want to click on Copy. Now go back into Epic Games, open up the folder or game folder that Epic Games created. Right click on it, and click on the Paste option here. So this might take a while, so just wait for it to complete. Now, once you've transferred all the files here, what we need to do next is we need it to go back into Epic Games and you want to click on the X button that you see next to the Resume button here. Now, it will remove it completely from your queue. So let's go ahead and go back into our uh, library here. And from here, click on the Resume button. Now, it's really important that you click on the X button because we'll now need to verify the actual game files. Let's go ahead and click on Resume now. And from here, it's going to say Verifying. Now, in this case, instead of downloading the files, it will just start verifying the files that we just recently transferred. Now, in this case, once it's actually completed, you should be able to start playing the game again. So, in this case, this might take a while, so let's just wait for you. Now, as you can see, we've just installed Fall Guys into a different location. So, just to give you an idea, whenever we click on the tree dot icon here and click on a Manage, and click on the folder icon again, it should show you the folder that we just created or we've just transferred in it into. Now in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.